Hey guys, Nick here. So today we will be taking a look at the all new CRF 300 LS from Honda. As many of you already know, Honda has a wide range of dual sport models in their lineup. So this is adding to their fleet, of course. But we're gonna talk about some of the differences between this bike and the standard 300 L as well. Get up close, show you all the different features on the bike. Finally, I'm gonna drive the 300 LS and share my opinions on it. So let's get started. Now before this video goes on, I want to mention and thank Jaff Motors located in Glenville, New York for lending me this model here today to show you all the brand new 300 LS from Honda. Their info will be on screen and down below, so be sure to check them out if you want to get one of these bikes or any of Honda's products. Now let's talk about the CRF. Now let's briefly go over what powers the 300 L. We have a 286 cc fuel injected liquid cooled single cylinder engine which is paired up to a six speed transmission being fueled by a 2.1 gallon fuel tank with a 311 pound curb weight that allows this bike to move along quite well now what i just mentioned besides that curb weight isn't what honda changed or is new to the ls from the 300 l what's new and special about the ls model is they lowered the seat height by two inches on this bike so this allows Honda to expand to more riders with different backgrounds. You know, maybe, of course, the obvious, if you're not as tall to fit on the 300L because it is a taller bike, this allows shorter riders to be able to fit more comfortably on one of these dual sport models. Or even if you are a taller person, some people are gonna like these because it puts you lower to the ground, which is gonna allow you to put your foot down more comfortably and easier when you're gonna be trail riding and stop and go traffic with this bike. So when I do go and ride this bike later, I'll definitely let you know how different it feels and closer to the ground than the standard 300L model. But that's enough talking about the bike. Let's get up close and show you it. Now getting up close to the bike, I'm gonna stand the bike up. You might not see it right away, but down here, there's a little window and that's how you can check your oil level. So I'm gonna move the bike back and forth a bit just so you can kind of see it up and down I'm hoping it'll pick it up on camera. You might not see it right away, but when level, the oil of course is perfect on the bike. But I wanted to show you that briefly right off the start. So that of course is our check. Now I figured since we were looking at the motor on the lower part side of the bike, we might as well take a look at the brakes because this bike comes with ABS. And if you're gonna be running this on trails and dirt on gravel, you probably aren't gonna wanna have ABS on. So I figured we'd take a look at the rotor a little bit here and talk about it because the ABS you can turn on and off on this bike. Now let's go take a look at the dash and I'll show you exactly how you can do that. Alrighty, so now we're taking a look at our dash. Of course you have two keys. You have a lock for your steering wheel so you can lock it all the way to the left. Turning our key on. You're gonna notice we have an ABS light on. That's completely normal once you start the bike up and you move it about, I'd say five, six feet, that light's gonna go off. Of course, we have our time, mile per hour, rev range, what gear we're gonna be in here. On the bottom, we can see our average mile per gallon and etc. On top, tells us our mile, which changes right there. So if I hit that, then it goes to our two trips. Trip A and trip B. Then this has a built-in like stopwatch. So you can hit start and you're a live stopwatch there. So that's pretty neat. So I guess if you're trying to do some time trial stuff, you can uh, time yourself, keep an eye on that. But you just hit set again on the bottom to stop it. Hold the top button. There we are, it is reset. The buttons are a little stiff. So you gotta kind of make sure you hit them right in the center there. But uh, you're probably also wondering, because I mentioned earlier about the ABS thing, because that's an ABS light. But what about turning off the ABS, right? Because we have this other button over here. So if we hold this ABS, it's gonna flash a second and it turns on right there, showing an ABS with a line through it, pointing at the bike, meaning that we don't have any more ABS there which is great. And then when you are back on the road, you just hold it again and boom, there you go. 
We'll fire it up. So it tells you right where your revs are at. This bike has hazards built in, has a left and a right turn signal. Got a high beam light right there. Horn. Throttle, of course. And we got an emergency kill, or we can just use our key. Now from a little further away, I figured I'd show you, we got our horn right here, high beam, low beam, turn signal indicator right there on the bottom. Right side, we got our start, our hazards, then we got our emergency kill right there. And for your gas tank, pull your key out, take this little notch here, turn that around, put your key in, turn it, pops right out just like that. Then once you've gotten your gas, push it back in, it's gonna automatically kinda swap around and turn the key. Lock that back on, and you're ready to go. Now finally, I'm gonna show you the back of the bike. Got these little screw points here, which are basically for if you put bags on, anything like that. Got our helmet holder right there. Got our rear pegs right here for our passenger. If you ride two seater with this bike. And that leads me into the options. You can get a rear rack for this. You can get, then you can get a rear box for it from Honda. You can get a 12 volt cigarette outlet for it to charge devices. There's a lot of endless nice options you can get for these 300 Ls for the LS or for the L model. But that's really going to do it in terms of a tour around this. So let's go start it up and let's go ride the 300 L. Well, that just about sums up our ride there on the LS. What a beautiful looking and riding bike. This gray and orange color combo, I love it because Honda, as many of you know, always does red and white with color schemes and especially when it comes to their dirt bike stuff. For them to change up the colors on a bike is just nice to see. But yeah, just beautiful riding bike. You notice it having that lower seat just when you sit on it, it feels a lot more comfortable you can sit a little bit better flat-footed depending upon your height, of course. And just, you know, overall, just wonderful driving experience with this. Real nice torque low end and high output on this motor. Reminds me a lot of like the 250F motor in the dirt bike, ironically, but it is obviously a different engine to a larger scale. But similar characteristics, a little bit in terms of the power band, but definitely got that high end and it has that low end, which is very important on these bikes. But yeah, that's really gonna do it. I hope you all did enjoy. If you did, please leave a like down below and subscribe, really helps out the channel. But yeah, that's gonna do it. You guys all have a great day, bye.